Hey guys, here's how to set up VLC Media Player to capture frames from your films. I'm on a Mac, but VLC works on Windows as well as Macs, and the process will be similar between the two. The first thing you need to do is get VLC. You have a couple of choices here. You can either install it on your own computer or use it on one of the computers around campus. You can install VLC on your own computer by visiting videoland.org slash VLC and just downloading the file here. You can see it works on all modern operating systems. If you don't want to install VLC on your computer, you can use it in the media lab in the library on the fourth floor in room 4840, which is not actually a room, but just an area. This is the south end of the library, and both the Windows and Mac computers have VLC installed. You can also use VLC in our classroom or the lab in 1131 on the ground floor of the JFSB. In both of these cases, you'd need to check out a DVD drive from the lab in 1141 JFSB. In both of these spaces, VLC is probably not yet installed, but you can install it by going to the self-service app, which will look like this, and then searching for VLC and then simply choosing to install it. So once you've got VLC installed, the next thing you'll want to do is create a folder for where you're going to store your frames. So in this case, I'll create a new folder on my desktop, and I will call it Frames. Now you're ready to open VLC. You're going to need to make a couple of changes to the preferences before you get started. So here I'm going to go up to the Settings. On a Mac, it's under the VLC Media Player. On Windows, it's probably under Tools or Options. Click on Settings and then you need to click on Show All. From here, you'll click on Video in the menu, and then click on the Filters. Scroll down until you find the Scene Video Filter. Tick this box, which will turn this filter on. It will start getting used now. And then over here in this left column, we need to scroll down to actually change some of the settings on this filter. So the scene filter choice here. The first thing you want to do is to change the recording ratio from 50 to 60. This will set it to taking one frame from every 60 frames, so one every two seconds. And now you need to say where these files should be saved. So we need to set a path. The easiest way to do this on a Mac is to go to your folder, right-click on it, and choose Get Info. And then this Where, if I right-click on this, I can copy as path name. And then I can paste that into this directory path prefix. Now notice that this is putting it on my desktop and not actually in the Frames folder. If I were to go with this, I'd end up with several thousand photos on my desktop. I don't want that, so I'm going to add a slash, and then the rest of the directory name. Once that's done, click Save. And then I'm going to quit VLC and open it again to just make sure all the settings are in place. Once this is done, VLC is ready to go. I've loaded a movie into the DVD drive I have attached to the computer, and I can just drag this over here. Once the disk is scanned, it will start playing. And I can actually open up my frames folder here and see that I am getting frames appearing. Now in this case, these are the frames from the DVD menu, which I don't actually care about. So I'll go ahead and just click play here. And now if I go back to my folder, you can see that the frames start getting overwritten. DVDs are like CDs where they have different tracks. And every time you hit a new track, on your film, you will start getting, the frames will start being overwritten because of the way they're time stamped. That's okay, because we only want the frames from the film itself. And so you can see we're continuing to get frames being pulled in, and so VLC seems to be working. Now you can let the whole movie play, and it will collect frames as you go. You can just run VLC in the background and in fact, just turn the volume down and do your other work and that's it. You've set up VLC. Now let the whole movie play and it will collect the frames as you go.